Good evening, everybody. My name is Bubby Crafts, and tonight we're going to be building RWS Percy. So let's go ahead and get things rolling. We're going to start off by placing down our double axle, and we want to do the short driver out of the extended bogies mod. So the short 040 driver out of the extended bogies mod. We're gonna place that guy down like so. And we're not gonna make it bigger. We're just gonna leave it exactly the way that it is. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a three by six block, uh, or three by six um, frame, whatever we wanna call it. And you can use whatever white color you like. I like to use the white uh, steel slabs from the Dave's Building Extended. So we've got that right there. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a block of the lime slash local meadow on either side of the top of the bogey. And then on top of the bogey, we're going to place down one of the lime copper uh, wrapped local metals. And what we're going to be doing is we want to puff out the boiler quite a bit. So we're just going to place down another block of each color on top on top of the other except for the back there I forgot about the back and right here what we want to do is we want to place down a copycat stair on either side of that actually I believe we're gonna get rid of that one as well because there needs to be a uh, tank in there so we're gonna fill either side or either stair rather with the lime slash local metal and we're gonna grab a fluid tank Place that fluid tank right inside, and we're gonna grab a whistle. Place a whistle on top and click it twice, and then right click it with your wrench twice to make it the smaller version. That way, there's a whistle that's gonna protrude from the top of the boiler for Percy, and it's gonna give you a nice little peep peep sound when you blow the whistle. Next thing that we wanna do is we wanna place down two copycat steps on either side and then a copycat slab on top of that and we can extend back a copycat slab to hide that whistle a little bit better we're just going to repeat our pattern that we had as well perfect and that's the boiler for Percy Dunn Excellent. We're going to grab a hold of the copycat half panel as well. Place down some half panels. And I'll tell you what, we're going to actually be smart about this and place down half panels with the color filled in. I've been trying to be more and more good about that, or more, more good about that here and there. I wanted to just illustrate something that you can do for Percy here. Similar to what we had with Thomas, we can actually do a nice little um, bit here with the, um, whatchamacallit, the copycat bites. Place those down. Boop, boop. Fill these in with the red local metal. And actually, we want to grab the white steel. I know I used the frame blocks there for those, but this is fine. So that's one thing that you can do. You can also grab the frame slice stairs upside down if you don't like the way that the um, whatchamacallit is looking. If you don't like the way that, that texture looks, then you can do that. Bogey is going to make it impossible. So we're going to just go like this. And then like that. 
place those down. Grab back a hold of our copycat. Let's grab red oak metal, and I actually need the white steel. We're gonna fill those tops in with the white steel, and those bottoms in with the red local metal. And then it's just a thing that you can do for Percy, just to give him a little bit of an extra step for detail, or an extra, a little extra bit of detail, whatever we're trying to say here. All right, for the beginnings of our cab, what we wanna do is we wanna shift click down a copycat slab and then place a copycat slab behind that as well and then we're gonna fill those in with the lime slash local metal on our back side here place down a row of the copycat steps run one additional slab up in the middle in the back there and I'll tell you what, we'll just do to a couple of temporaries as well, because we want to be able to place down a little bit of an intricate deal here. So remove your temporary slabs, place down a couple of copycat half panels on the back of those panels that we just placed, and then remove our temporary panels. We're going to grab the flat lime slashed local metal to give a little bit of a texture variation for Percy. And then we're just going to use that block to place down a couple of temporaries, placing a copycat panel on either side there. Extend up the temporaries, place down a copycat panel, or copycat half panel. And then we're going to remove our temporary blocks. We're going to come over here and grab a hold of the lime slashed and then the flat lime slashed to fill in that part there. We're going to grab coal to fill that coal in. We want lime slashed on that piece there. And then our standard roof is going to be just the standard copycat layers that we normally do with the deep slate. I'm just going to place these down really quick. Just finishing up our roof. There we go. Standard roof is just going to be the two on either side and three in the middle. Grab a hold of our copycat slice. Place down some slices on either side. Fill in those slices with the deep slate tiles. And there's our roof. We want to grab a copycat layer as well. In the middle, we're going to place down a level two or a two click um, layer. Fill that with brass. And there's his boiler bobble. And then we're going to do a one click copycat layer right there just to bring the roof up just a little bit more like that on either side of the front of percy we're going to place down a step fill those with the lime slash local metal and then what we're going to do is we are going to just proceed to start building the smoke box. Now what I ended up having to do on that guy and I'm gonna have to do it here as well just remove this front this front slab come in there and click up on the top of this block right here 
So click up. So that's the bottom of our smoke box. Just replace that uh, block there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place on top of that slab a coal burning smokestack and right click it to stop it. And then we're gonna place a shift click, a coal burner smokestack on top of that, just to give a little bit more um, shape to the top of the smoke box. And we're gonna grab a couple of different things here. And we want to grab the black logo metal smoke box. We're going to place one of the copycat head blocks on all three sides of that um, oil burner, but towards the bottom of it. There we go. Click in your smoke box pieces just to give it some texture and a little bit of design. We're gonna fill in that copycat slab with our smoke box and then place a half panel and then another smoke box brick as well. We'll place down our couplers and buffers. We want to make sure to place those up towards the top so that way when you fill the fill the copycats in it hides any extra color that you might have added again on my rws engines i place these little flags or these little markers whatever you want to call them just because I think they look cool doesn't mean you think they look cool, so you definitely don't have to do those if you don't want to. It's just something that you can do to add a little bit more life to your locomotive, so to speak. But that completes our build, but you do need to add a couple of things for the inside, of course. So for the inside of Percy, Gonna be, oops, it's gonna be a little bit tricky working in here um, because of those. It's gonna be like Thomas where if it's not in build mode then it's gonna be a little bit weird. So we'll place the um, train controls right there. The seats just put like so. Take out that back um, slab and put that down for the inside of Percy we're gonna just place down a couple of the slabs oh actually get rid of the things on those guys and we're gonna do the white or the bamboo trapdoors I can't talk today for some freaking reason that guy down. Oops. And we're going to stick this guy down. And that's going to complete our build for Percy. We're going to grab a hold of some glue. And make sure that you remove any extra or excess glue spots that you may have already had. I've got this piece here, this vertical slice. I'm going to right click that vertical slice. Bring my glue all the way to the back here. Oh, I want to pick down temporary block. So start from your temporary block and come down to the slice if you've got it. And that's your Percy glued. Perfect. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, please like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. All the stuff and things. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you'd like to see somebody special next. I'm kind of running out of ideas for um, season two of the um, normal build series, which is why I started doing things like Harold. I've got Terrence in the works, and I've got um, a couple other ideas and things. 
Um, also, let me know if you want to see a build tutorial for the mail vans. Um, and let's see here. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the map. The map's been released. I'll make sure to put a co uh, copy to the link to the map in the description. And, uh, yeah, leave me any questions, comments, or whatever in the, uh, co in the comment section for this video. And, uh, again, thanks so much for watching. And, okay, let me wait.